All right, here we go. Let's get, all right, let's get prepared. So, all right, everybody. So this is crew and we are back on American Truck Simulator. And we are going to try to finish up the last few deliveries that we have here. Bear with me, I'm just getting my tablet ready. You know what I wonder? I wonder if I put my stream up on my Xbox. We'll take a look at that. Bear with me one second, guys. Curious if I put this up here and just do the opposite of what I would normally do. Welcome to the chat. Hey, bananas, how you doing there, bud? So, Bananas, I'm going to use you as my guinea pig, okay? So, on the stream, let me know if the video that you're seeing is crisp, you know, clear, like it normally is. Um, actually, let me turn the volume down on the TV, just so there's no feedback. So let me know if everything looks okay. You know, there's no hesitation, you know, no lag, anything like that. You know, tell me if you, if it seems like it might be the same as usual, or if it's any different. Rerouting. Oh, hold on here. Went the wrong way. I wasn't paying attention. Keep right, and then turn right. Actually, I think we're going to turn around. Turn right. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to turn around real quick. Oh, okay, so when they... So I'm trying out a nav system here. So the only nav I have is actually on the board. Hmm. Get ready to turn right. Turn right. We are finished. Okay, so there's no lag, no, no nothing that uh, seems different than what I've had on here before, right? Okay, so when I watch it on my TV, it's very, very laggy, but... I guess that's to be expected since we're... Because of the delay and everything, I guess it's going to look different. <coughs> okay. I'm trying to think, you know, see if using uh, my television as my other, uh, my chat, you know, to see the chat instead of my, my uh, tablet. Now, the one thing that's a little annoying is, 
I only have the navigation visual Turn right. on the screen in the car here. See, I got rid of the nav in the lower right corner. Uh, I don't know if I like that, though. Yeah, I'll let you go. I'm trying to figure something out. I don't know if I like that. Uh, <clears throat> like, I like that information at the top, but I thought... I would still have, you know, the navigation screen because that screen on the dashboard is just not going to do it. Um... It doesn't look like I can, let's see, control, alt, tab, there was a way that you can use the cursor. Was it control, alt, shift, control, shift, tab, shift, nope. Um... Yeah, I like using the nav system. I don't think I can change that from here. Let me just save this real quick. And let me go back to main menu here. Give me a second. I also don't know why <clears throat> Streamlabs hasn't updated that follower stuff there, because that's actually different. Should be 192. Alright, where we got um, Route Advisor. Let's remove that. Confirm. And continue. Yeah, I thought that route advisor at the top would be good, but I thought it would have like a little nav window at the top. Um, you know, instead of just the dashboard. But, it's alright. Let me just get rid of these auto saves. It saves auto saves so many. Okay. Alright, we'll just go back to normal. Yeah, so bananas, I'm going to try and use my uh, TV instead of my monitor or my uh, tablet for chat. So we'll see how this works. I don't know if it'll pick up Facebook on that or not still. I doubt it. Uh, I'm guessing it's still just Streamlabs <coughs> that's going to have that. Uh, but at least this will give me something else to view it looks bigger it looks better 
as long as I can use that, that would be cool. I just don't want it affecting the video quality. All right, let's go. Um, what are we doing? We're going right. Get the job done. Okay. All right, we're out. Let's do this. Keep left, then turn left. Turn oh, left. If anybody knows if there's a way to move that nav window, like I really just want to drop it down further. That's all. Just further down into the corner. If there's anybody who knows. If that can be done, please let me know. Cause I would love to do that. <sighs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Go straight on. Straight on. So, Banana, what did you think of uh, Killing Floor 2? Have you ever played that game? That was pretty intense last night. Yeah, I wanted to stream again last night, too, but by the time I, ch you know, chilled for a little bit and had a little bite to eat, Sorry, I had to take my pills. Allergies. Gotta make sure you take them. Or I just get to sneezing like crazy. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, it was cool. It was our first, my first time playing on their, um, playing uh, Endless. So basically Endless is just wave after wave until you die. Um, that was pretty epic. So we're heading out of Kennewick, Washington State, and we're on our way to Coeur d'Alene, that is uh, northern, northern Idaho, and um, we're, we're going to head to Coeur d'Alene to try and get to, there's two cities that are up northern Idaho that I still have to get to. Uh, but they didn't have anything going there, so I have to go to Coeur d'Alene and hope that there's something uh, running to those other two states, uh, two cities. Alright, we're good. 
good to go. 71,000 pounds. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, my favorite game... You know, it's hard. I don't... I don't really have a favorite because there's just so many genres that I like to play. But if I were to narrow it down strictly... So, if I were to go just straight gameplay, no multiplayer, no nothing, just game I like to, games or games I like to play, uh, campaign and all that stuff, it would have to be Mass Effect. Um, strangely enough, I only played them one time through. So, Mass Effect Trilogy. Andromeda, I started and then got away from it and never played it again. Um, but the Mass Effect Trilogy, I played all three games beginning to end. Um, and those, I would say, are my three favorite. Right after that, though, I would put Fable. Especially Fable 1. Um, Fable Anniversary was not too bad. Fable, um... You know, they... I just like the way Fable plays. You know, I like that you were able to buy buildings, the uh, magic that you could use along with melee. You know, you weren't just stuck to melee or just magic. I found, I found that kind of fun. You know, being able to build up your character, being able to buy... Um, uh, stuff for inside, like you could buy, you could buy property and rent the property out. You could upgrade inside the buildings. You know, get better tables and bookshelves and beds. And um, you know that I thought was awesome. And it was real time money. So even when you weren't playing on Fable the money that you would make per hour still calculated. So, you know, you would get back, say, say you didn't play it for maybe two, three days. As soon as you turned it on, you, it would pop up on your screen. You know, maybe you made $30,000 because of all the property that you own. So that was pretty epic. But yeah, I'd say the Mass Effect Trilogy, just because the storyline was great, the gameplay was great, and then Fable after that. But those are just straight games. You know, if you're talking about um, multiplayer games, you know, like each individual situation has maybe its own game. Like Minecraft, right? I love playing Minecraft. I like playing Minecraft uh, creative mode more than anything else, but I will play survival, you know, if if it's, you know, the right group of people and, you know, we're going to get together and do some stuff, you know, that's kind of fun too. <clears throat> Yeah, years ago it used to be just sports. That's all I ever played. But, you know, and then it, I would have said probably Call of Duty for a while there. But, yeah, right now I would definitely say Mass Effect Trilogy, Fable. Yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. Keep left. Last night's game was boatloads of fun. That Killing Floor 2, that was pretty, uh, I actually liked that better than, um, I liked that better than Call of Duty Zombies. 
I thought it was way better. You had people that were able to come in. We had six people playing on that map. You know, it was open to the public. Um, I mean, we were just, yeah, we were, we were doing awesome. Keep left. I couldn't really get in a the flow there on the, on the back end of like round 19 going into 20. And then I got stuck because I, you know, one poor decision. That's one of the things that I try and pride myself on is in that type of game, you know, not making that poor decision. But I got greedy. Yeah, I was hoping to just get a boatload more kills before I took off. But they came in behind me. And then I got trapped. But it was still fun. We're going to run that again today. My son's off from work, so we'll be able to to run that again. Play it a little, uh, maybe a little sooner in the day. It was great. You know, you could buy, especially the character I used, you could buy just about any gun. Well, not any, just about. You could buy any gun you wanted. Um, because that character opens the menu up for you where you can use any gun, so it's not specific to that character. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. I was, I was enjoying that a lot. You know, you feel like you always have a chance to survive. They don't really take your health down quick because you got, like, that shield kind of thing that's going on and man it was awesome looked like a really great game yeah oh, it was tons of fun Am I going to stream at 2 o'clock? Um, well, I don't know. See, it's kind of hard for me with strict uh, time situations. Just because so many things kind of happen here at my house. I would say I more than likely should be streaming at 2 o'clock. Um, especially today. My son doesn't work. The only thing I would have to do is pick up my daughter at maybe 5.15, right. 5.30, somewhere in that range. Um, so, you know, I should be good. Uh, I might already either be streaming something at that time, you know, or we'll be putting something on at that time. But yeah, we'll, we should definitely be on streaming at 2 o'clock unless... You know, I just get done a stream at 1.30. Oh, we should be good. Yeah. Turn right. Here we are, safe and sound.
How did I miss that? Okay. Um, you'll have to come in late. Okay. No worries. Um, yeah, whenever you can make it in, man, that's uh, it's always appreciated. Um, job market external. Here we go. So now we're hoping to get either Sandpoint or Lewiston. So let's go to the end here first. All right, we got Lewiston and Sandpoint. I think we're going to go 42 miles. So I have to do Lewiston, because it has to be at least 100 miles. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, let's head over to our pickup location. Fuel looks good. Turn left. There's a garage right back there, too. Get ready to turn right. Let's go check out the garage. Let's find a new route. Let's do this. 180,000. Okay. That'll that'll be a good garage to buy at some point. Turn right. Car's gonna stop. Get ready to turn left. <laughs> turn left. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Keep left. Heading out, <clears throat> get to our pickup. It's about 
18 minutes away here. over what so I saw on Facebook today that uh, new fable games are supposed to be coming out I don't know so am I go straight on yeah I, I um I sent, uh, I sent, uh, the person who put it up on Facebook, I was like, well, so Lionhead outed a picture, who would be doing it, and, um, you know, when's it coming out? So I'm gonna see what they reply back. Go straight off. Um, Fable 2 is the best, but it'd be kind of interesting, because... That was always Lionhead Studios game. And they're not around. <laughs> so um you know, I'm curious as to who would have picked Go that up. On. So if you see anything, let me know. Cause we were actually just talking about it on here. They were asking what you know my favorite games were. And I was like, well, the Mass Effect trilogy and then Fable. Keep right, and then turn right. Hmm? Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Turn right. Yeah, Dragon Age is pretty cool, too. Um... Yeah, I guess, yeah. Um, Elder Scrolls would definitely be... Okay. Wait, did I miss... Did I miss something somewhere? Alright, sounds good. Love you too, bud. Did I miss? Maybe I'm supposed to go back here. Sorry about that. I was talking to my son. I think maybe I totally missed where I was supposed to go. It was a nice ride. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay. What's that? Um, yes. Because he hasn't done what I've asked him to do out there. Um, 
He was supposed to take the trash yesterday. He didn't. I had to do it this morning. I was going to wake him up, but... Um, right, Mom had to get it together. I asked him to clean... I asked him to clean up in there. Uh, Leah did some work yesterday, so that's why I didn't take hers. Um, and she actually did a pretty good job. So... Until he shows me he's going to do something. And they're going to stay there. No? That's mom's. Because you had mine. Domenica's. And then that red one was the one that mom had originally. So. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Well. Sounds good. Love you. Sorry about the interruptions there. Last or early, early this morning, um, I grabbed uh, my younger son's controllers for the Xbox, um, trying to teach him that he has to take care of what he has to take care of. And I forewarned him, said if things don't get done, at some point I'm going to take the controllers. And you can't play Xbox until you take care of business. So that's what I did this morning. So we'll see what happens. <clears throat> I just want to give a shout out to all you guys who come in and watch my streams too. Um, you guys have been awesome. Um, I'm super, super glad and stoked that you know you guys have been coming in, hanging out. Um, you know, we're just looking to grow and be able to, you know, do this as a regular thing. Um, you know, okay. we'll have to see because when she has she gets back, she has to work on the kitchen. Yeah. So, anything that you guys can do to help her would be great. Empty out the dishwasher, you know, re put a new load in or something. It only help. But yeah, you guys have been uh, absolutely awesome. Um, my Facebook numbers have been up, my, uh, Twitch, Twitch numbers are going left. up, and then exit left. you know, my average viewership isn't going exit up left. yet, you know, it's like, I'll get, I'll get a good, I'll get a good amount of people watching, um, but it just, it's, it's not sustained, you know what I mean, like, I'll, I'll get, there's been times I've had, darn it, there's times I've had, you know, 10 people watching, but it just wasn't sustained, you know. I'm paying attention to that I keep getting distracted here I'm sorry guys but yeah so like my average you know is about the same or just slightly under what I've been because um, I just don't have that sustainability so far but we're working on it you know you guys have been awesome, though. Like, I can't thank you enough. I am super, super happy. 
I just need, you know, word of mouth or the content to, you know, just start to bring more people in. You know, I try to play some popular games. I can't be spending 60 bucks on every new game that comes out, but, you know, I try to try to, uh, you know, play some of the popular titles. I could probably do a little bit more uh, with some titles. Like, I know ATS is super popular, so I've been trying to do that uh, more often, and that's been really good. Keep right, and then exit right. Minecraft's a very popular title. Exit right. I should get on there a little bit more uh, than Keep I right. do. And then turn right. That would be probably uh, that would probably be helpful. But we're working on it. You know, I would love to be a full-time streamer and just make a living streaming. Go straight on. So that's what we're pushing for. You know, be able to get better equipment. Give you guys. You know, then at that point, you know, maybe I can uh, play higher-end titles more frequently or something, you know. Or get all the new games, that sort of thing. But we're trying. You gotta start somewhere. Can't be on top until you're at the bottom. You gotta start off at the bottom first. But it's only because of you guys that it, it, it can even happen. So I am super, super thankful. Uh, that right turn will sneak up on you, won't it? What's up, good buddy? Wow, look at that. That's cool. That, that's an awesome view, isn't it? <laughs> Go straight on. Give me one second. I just heard a chime in my headset. Give me just a moment. If you're on Facebook and you just did something to <laughs> make me hear a little ring in my ear, I do apologize that the chat that I have up, um, it doesn't show me the Facebook chat for some reason. It, well, it's not for some reason. It's because it's through Streamlabs, or uh, not through Streamlabs, through my Twitch. So it's only going to show me Twitch. So give me just a moment, and uh, you know I'll give you a shout out. Plus, it's also hard to drive and read the chat at the same time turns into a uh, a very bad situation a lot of uh, off the road moments there <laughs> uh, uh, Minecraft oh can you play Minecraft well we'll have to see yeah um, you know I uh what Minecraft do you have? Do you have it on PC through, um, through, uh, whatchamacallit, Java, or are you on the Xbox? Yeah, see, it's not showing me anything, but I heard something in my headset. Sounded like it might be a follow. So if somebody just followed, thank you, thank you very much. I am super happy. But it doesn't show up. When I go into Streamlabs, it's not showing 
anything. So, I do apologize. Sometimes they take a minute. That's why I need a second monitor. If I can get a second monitor uh, hookup, that would really help for these situations. Boy, that feels like it's straight uphill, doesn't it? What we got? Uh, about an hour left, okay. On the delivery. Yeah, in-game hour. Maybe like, what, 10 minutes? I think in real time. PS4? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's crossplay. Yep. Yeah, the only thing I think we won't be able to do, um, since you'd be on PS4, is uh, we wouldn't be able to communicate. Um, through the headset so we would have to communicate through the live stream yeah but that's fine um, yeah I don't think that would be an issue more than likely so there's two situations that I have banana with Minecraft one is my own build that I'm doing. It's a creative build. Um, then the other is a survival build that I'm doing with um, a friend of a friend's. So the survival one I wouldn't be able to do. It's a dedicated server that he purchased. Um, I wouldn't be able to have you come in with that one because that's that's his server and he pays for it and it's it you know kind of um, you know he's got strict it's strict on who plays on it turn left, turn left. why are you saying turn left this has me going right um, so, you know, that, that would be the only thing. And then exit right. Exit right. But my temple build, um, I could really use the help. <laughs> so far I haven't been able to get anybody come on with me. They're either, like, Jed is either working, and then when he gets back, you know, I don't want to take him away from the games that he really wants to play. So, Go straight on. I usually wind up having to do it myself. Ooh. And it's a lot. The other problem sometimes is, like, the, my build, the way I build is, um, you know, I... I I have a, um, I have a way, like in my mind, I have what I want something to look like, but then as I go along, you know, I, I might build something and then all of a sudden look at it Get and, ready to turn left. you know, and just be like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I don't, there's just something missing, something, 
just doesn't look right. And I'll tear, I'll tear it down. Turn left. Like I don't have a problem, you know, building something over. That's just, you know, my uh, my method. Just because you know the way I want things to look and sometimes you know this is where it ends. you have an idea on something but until you actually build it you don't know you know how it's gonna look and then once you see it you're like eh. <laughs> not exactly what I had envisioned Sometimes, sometimes it might be just the block type, too. You know? It might be the color. It might be... Um, maybe it's just not... Maybe you made it too small. Maybe you made it too big. There we go. Okay. Give me one second. game I can help you all right I got you banana so I wouldn't start a new game I would just let you come in and you know help me out with uh, the temple build that I'm doing that's not a problem at all like I said we would <coughs> excuse me Sorry, I just had to use my nose spray for my allergies. Eight of eleven. See, so that's weird. Now it says eight of eleven, but I only see That would be nine. That would be ten. What other city is there? Right? There should be three cities left. Unless... Unless one of these cities... I passed through and I didn't do a delivery? It'd be nice to know which ones. Oh, Nampa. I know I didn't see that name. 
Nampa? Let's see where Nampa is. Idaho Falls, Nampa. Here we go. So I must have drove through Nampa. Didn't actually deliver there? Let's see. Oh no, look. No, it's there. Yeah, it must not have delivered there. Hey. What's that, baby? Oh, cool. You need me to brush your hair? <laughs> or just, well, it smells great. Yeah. Hair that comes out of the shower always smells good. Do you need me to brush it or do you, are you good? Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. If there's anything you can do to help out, that would be great. You hear me? Well, I did, but you never came in to tell me. I was a little, I was a little hurt. I thought you would be like, "Oh, Dad, come check out what I did." Yeah, I understand. No, it's okay. No, I'm glad. I love when it, I love when it looks like that. It's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, give me one quick second. My daughter wants me to see something she did. Hold on.
sorry about that. My daughter was excited about uh, what she did. Um, let's see, three. Ethan, so we had a follow yesterday from Ethan and Katranova. I want to thank you guys for the follow. Um, all right, let's go back here. Yeah, so Nampa, I think, might be the other city. Because I do not recall that name at all. Um, so now we're going to look for Sandpoint, Idaho Falls, and I guess we'll look for Nampa also. So let's see what we get. Um, Sandpoint. 174 miles. Pressure tank. Ooh, that's a duel. Interesting. Let's see. Is there anything else for Sandpoint that might be? No. How about Nampa? <clears throat> it's Idaho Falls. No. Okay. Um, where was that? That was up here. No. Sandpoint. There we go. Sixty-two thousand pounds. This one could get... Yeah, I didn't think so. Why does it say... Heavy haul... Wasn't that delivery I had heavier? Oh, this one's 500 miles. I really don't want to go that far away from Sandpoint, but I don't think I have a choice. Saying that I can't take this. Hmm. If I drive to Coeur d'Alene, I don't think the distance between those two is is going to be far, uh, you know, far enough. It has to be at least 100 miles. Maybe I should go to Greenville. See if they have something. Because this is all Lewiston, right? Well, let's take a look. Is there something going to Grangeville? Yeah, we got two on that page. And we got two on this page. I might as well take this. I'll get a little bit more money out of it, and then we'll check Grangeville. See if Grangeville has anything that's going. Let's go. What's your question? Well, at this point, um, I'm, yeah. Well, so there's a couple things. Number one, the fact that he's not coming to me, I'm not liking. Get ready to turn 
you know, he, he's a young boy, or soon, you know, young man, soon to be a young man. He needs to learn how to take responsibility okay. for himself. I appreciate you asking on his behalf because you want to play together, and I get it. And I have no problem with you guys playing together. I don't have a problem with him doing some work, and maybe you guys playing Keep together. And then um, so like I said, number one, I prefer he talks to me. Go number two, um, he would have to do more where we're at now because I feel like he didn't do, and I include you a little bit too because you didn't do the things that I had asked. Um, but you helped your sister when she asked you, and that's why I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. But I've asked you for several days to take care of some business, and you guys haven't. So I'm at the point now where he would need to do a little bit more than just clear that table. I'm going to need the living room taken care of. You know, the table, the floor, the near the television. Um, well, I, today I would expect that table and the floor in the living area to be taken care of. The other table and the other floor near the air conditioner, that can be tomorrow. Um, this way, if you guys make it spotless and keep it spotless up to the weekend, then the weekend, the only thing you have to do is... Um, whoops, what am I doing? Um, no, I missed a turn or something. I gotta turn around. Um, but my expectation is now, you know, that's not gonna cut it. Just a quick little, you know, push everything off the table and that's it. It's, I need a good job and then you guys can play all you want. Alright, and, you know, um, I don't think that's a, a bad expectation given the circumstances, okay? Alright, I love you. Turn left. Sorry about that, guys. <sighs> what a pay attention. Oh, look at that truck. That's nice. Wish they had that in four as a four. That'd be cool to fix up. Go straight on and then keep right. Alright, um, yeah, so if you guys weren't, uh, in the stream yesterday, uh, we had a couple, we had a couple things yesterday we did that were pretty cool. Uh, we played some multiplayer on Andromeda, that was pretty cool. We had a couple, uh, couple matches there that went south real quick for us, but for the most part we were able to complete everything and get our max rewards and then we switched it over to killing floor two and man we had a blast on that we played uh hard on endless and endless basically is you know unlimited waves so you just wave after wave there's no like you can play some where you do four waves i think seven and you know, at the end, you're, you know, you're done. You fight the boss and you move on. Uh, this one was called Endless, and it was just that. Every five rounds, you fight a boss, and then, you know, you're done when you die, <laughs> essentially. Oof.
That is one loud facility. loud there, wasn't it? Holy smokes. Turn left. Ready to turn right. Turn right. This is going to be a short trip. We're just trying to get over to this, uh, what is it, Grangeville, I believe is the city. So that um, I'm hoping that they have an opportunity to deliver up north to, um, what was it, Sandstone maybe? Sandville? Sandston? Because everywhere I've gone so far, they, they don't have anything going up there. And, uh, we need to get there. So it's either going to be there or Idaho Falls. We also have Nampa. Those are the three. I believe it's Nampa. I don't recall delivering to Nampa. What's up, Jetta? Yeah, I think Nampa is the location... Uh, that I need the uh, third one because it says I did 8 of 11 which is 3 and there's only 2 cities on the map that are not you know that I haven't been to yet so I must have passed through Nampa while doing a delivery and that's why the you know it shows please pull in okay You do that, my brother. Alright, let's check it out. Um, Amazon customer service, really? Oh, okay. Um, that stinks. Sorry that you're having some issues. What seems to be the problem? Did they what did they do or not do? Oh, 
Clearwater River, huh? That's pretty cool. About that side. Oh, that's nice. I like to take a boat right out to that little island there. And just hang out there, picnic, fish. That'd be awesome. Keep going straight, right? Is it about that delivery? Did it not get there? Did they say it got there and it didn't? read that one just yet. <laughs> Let me try and get on the straightaway here. Alright. Three items in her last Friday. Well, Jay did, and for my birthday, they're all supposed to be here on my birthday. I got two out of five, and now it's gone, and they couldn't, they couldn't help you. Dark side Orochi, what's up? Um... weird yeah I've never had issues with uh, Amazon so they basically said sorry sir can't help you because usually for me they always made it simple uh, they always like Domenica had the same thing before Christmas she had ordered stuff for the kids for Christmas and there was uh, I think she got everything except what she ordered for Jotham maybe and she went into customer service they said what we'll do is we'll credit you back uh, they credited her and she just went in and ordered it again now it you know it didn't make it for Christmas, but uh, I think it came like day after, or two days after. Yeah, like I always found actually Amazon to be the best because all I've all I've ever had was, hey, we're supposed to get a delivery, didn't make it. They would say, yeah, for some reason we're not finding it, so they would just credit me back, let me reorder. And then if I got something that I didn't like, they just sent me a UPS label and like Asa, in fact, I got to send his back. He ordered uh, colored pencils Turn left. and he got a case with no pencils in it. Uh, oh no, slow down. So I went in, they sent me a label. I just got to print it out, put it on the box and he already got his new one. They just sent him a new one. It's so weird. Oh, yeah, okay, there you go. So I'd have to wait either till Friday and get a refund or a replacement. Yep, there you go. Oldred, what's going on, brother? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for checking in. I appreciate it a lot. Um, okay, yeah, so they can help you. It's just, you know, you gotta, yeah, they want you to wait till Friday because maybe it's still, you know, en route. What they'll, what they'll do is they'll put a tracking on it. If they find that it's still en route, they'll probably wait. And then Friday, uh, if it's supposed to be there, they'll update it in the system. Uh, if not, then yeah, they'll either refund you, in which case you reorder it or they'll just replace it for you. But yeah, I mean, that's that's all they can do, really. As much as that, you know, doesn't help you. The bigger problem is usually at the warehouse. The folks that deal with the delivery, that's usually not the issue, except when they deliver to the wrong address. It's in the warehouse. Like, why weren't those items in the box, right? Go straight on. Why didn't they put it all in one box? 
you know, maybe, you know, like, that's the bigger issue, but that's an in, that's a warehouse thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, of course. But what guarantees do we ever get, bro? Never. Never. Gas pedal on my G920. G920, is that a Logitech? I forget if that's Logitech or not. I think it is, right? Is that Logitech? Get ready to turn right. Whoops, hello. Yeah, I'm a Prime member, and... Yeah, it was a two... Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, psh, dude. I know, 100%. Yes, okay. Um, oh, well, that sucks if the gas pedal ain't working. That doesn't help you one bit. What, um, what type of problem is it with the gas pedal? Is it stuck, like, down? Is it, um, is it not, like, you push it down and it just doesn't register? Maybe it's like a sensor? Yeah, it, it stinks. I know. You pay for the membership, but you know what? Especially with everything that's been going on, they're never... That guarantees as good as me guaranteeing you that I'm not going to mess up this delivery backing up. <laughs> you just got to, you know, either be thankful that you're able to just order it on the computer. You don't have to go to the store. And, you know, you take what you get. And if you have to wait another day or two... You know, then so be it. Or cancel the membership, go to the store, and walk out with it. You know, it's all it's options. But it does, it sucks. I know. I I've had to deal with it here. We've ordered things and you know, it was time sensitive and it didn't show up. We had one delivery and it was they're like, no, it was delivered, and eventually we got a picture of where it was, and it was took us like three hours, but then we found out it was on my next door neighbor's front stoop, not ours. I'm, you know, when they sent the picture, I'm like, wait a second, we don't, we don't, our house is a rancher. There's no steps anywhere, and I'm like, there's like two little front steps at that front door. That's not our door. <laughs> And here it was in my neighbor, my neighbor's house. They didn't even know it was out there yet either. Um, gas pet. I feel like I've done everything, and everything that I've done always ended up with the same result. Uh, hmm. Call again tomorrow. Yeah, that kind of stinks. So, like I said, Aldred, is it like you when you depress the pedal? Does it like stay down for a little bit and does nothing, and then pops up? Or is it you're just pushing the pedal and there's just nothing? Just take a quick peek, see if anybody's on Facebook saying. Nope, looks like everybody through Twitch so far. I don't want to miss anybody on Facebook. I don't always see the Facebook chat. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, that kind of stinks. Is it fairly new, Aldred? You'll be back. All right, Jenna. We'll see you when you get back, brother. Um, is it a fairly new one? Is it still under warranty, Older? Maybe you can uh, maybe you could take it back and, um, you know, let them know what's going on. Maybe they'll replace it for you. I know it doesn't help you now. You know what I mean? When I press on the gas pedal, it does nothing. Okay. But everything else works, right? So are you able to like use the rest of the steering wheel, like turn signals, wipers, horn, all that stuff. <clears throat> I 
then that would mean I don't I've never used the uh, steering wheel so I'm only putting out like what I think would be the questions to ask because I don't know how that works I don't know if you need to um, let me just go here real quick uh, external contracts the only two pedals at work are the clutch and the brake okay so it's not a connection problem with the whole thing it's a connection problem with the gas pedal now the way it works underneath does the pedal have a wire that's connected to it or like maybe there's a wire i don't know if there's um you know like obviously if you have a xbox controller in your hand you know you have the controller wire if it's not a wireless that's plugged in you can obviously tell um is there a wire that that connects to the pedal somewhere or is there um because if there's independent wires for the brake to clutch and the gas then it could be just that wire or is it all connected with one wire which case that means a sensor that's in the gas pedal um, is not working it could be you know that connection uh, for that sensor came loose or that if it's an internal thing where you don't see the wires um, then you know that would be an issue because then it means it's inside the unit Did, is it fairly is it old or is it fairly new Uh, what am I looking for? Idaho, and I'm paying attention to you. I'm just looking at the cities. So Idaho Falls, Napa, Nampa, Sandpoint. That's what it was, Sandpoint. Let's see what we got. So all Lewistown, Boise, Yakima, Twin Falls, Ontario. There's Boise, Coeur d'Alene. Seriously? You're not going to give me this, huh? Salmon, Salmon, Sacramento, Tom, Price, Ben, Cedar. Really? I'm not going to get one. One delivery, not one delivery. Boy, this is really, uh... When I went to Pocatello, they had nothing for Idaho Falls. They had Idaho Falls in Lewistown. Somewhat new? Gotcha. So I was going to say, so if you're saying it's somewhat new, I'm assuming maybe you didn't purchase it? I'm just thinking if you purchased it and you have the receipt, let's say you bought it from, I don't know, Best Buy, they traditionally they'll have a return policy, you know, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, where if there's anything wrong with the product, you bring it back and they'll either give you a refund or they'll exchange it. You know, I was going to say, if it's something where you have the receipt and you're able to speak to them um, directly, then you can work something out and they may just exchange it. Because what they'll do is they'll just send it in as damaged goods and it doesn't cost them nothing. Um, but if you don't have the receipt, that's one problem. If it's something you ordered online, you'd have to find out, you know, like if it was Amazon, um, you'd have to see what their policy is, you know, based on how long you had it. But it stinks. Hey, what's up, man? Where you put this? <laughs> you can put that in that big closet behind the dining room table. That would be fine. Um, yeah, I think that would be probably the best. So the pedals and the shifter connect to the wheel. Now is that an is that so are we talking about one wire from the pedals to the wheel? And then the wheel connected to the So I'm assuming BioKid. Hey, what's up, BioKid? Wid? I don't know what don't know what WYD means. Um, 
Because what I'm wondering, so my, I guess it's safe to assume one wire goes from the base up to the wheel, and then another single wire goes from the wheel to the computer, right? That's how that, that's how that works. Have you Googled it? Maybe if you Google um, gas pedal malfunction G920, there might be a YouTube video. I know uh, a friend of mine uses that like all the time. Every time he has a situation come up, boom, he hits Google. And there's nine times out of ten, eight times out of ten, there's a, uh, somebody who just puts something on YouTube to say, hey, I had this problem, this is what I did, this is what fixed it. So there's one cable to connect a pedal to the wheel, okay, and then there's one cable to connect a shifter to the wheel, okay. Right, so essentially the pedals are, so there's probably three wires in one for the pedals. There's an outside chance that that wire for the gas pedal inside that casing um, could have had something happen to it, or it's just a bad sensor. My, my guess is there's something with the pedal that when you depress the pedal, there is a sensor that, you know, allows that to read. And that is what's kind of the problem. And it's, I would imagine it's not, I would, I would venture to say it's not something that can be um, fixed, like by you just you know, cleaning a sensor or, you know, doing anything like that. It almost seems like it might be an internal thing. Which stinks, because I would love to... Oh, steer. I would love to use the steering wheel. I bet you it's so much fun playing with the steering wheel and the shifters and all that good stuff. So here we are having to probably drive to another city to hope that we get another opportunity to get over to these three other towns. Now I know I saw salmon in here somewhere. Yeah, here it goes. Gosh, man. This is how it didn't do anything. It just had, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, all these electronics, you know, they just, out of nowhere, just bloop, done. Stinks. What about Ketchum? Yeah, babe. Give me one second, guys. Be right back. What's up?
Yeah, it just they just happen. Yeah, that's the thing that's that stinks with those electronics. Just out of nowhere. Probably in the living room. Twin Falls. Gosh darn. This is really annoying me. That's so weird. Did you see the route that it has for salmon? Where was that at? Salmon's like right there. But look at the route that you have to go to get there. Where was it at? Serious? Look at that. I wonder what's in between here. I get maybe it's like all mountains over there. That's so strange. That you have to go all the way through there. Ontario. Uh, yeah, Oldred, I would say maybe there's something. <clears throat> um, <coughs> let's see here. G920 gas pedal. <clears throat> Logitech G920 gas pedal not working. Yeah, here you go. So, so apparently that's a common issue. Yeah, I just went to Google. Um, so it seems like it's a common issue, but there are three videos that they show for Logitech G920 and G290 pedal fix. Uh, pedal problem, watch before you buy. So apparently this is a problem with that particular device. Inaccurate throttle diagnosis and fix. Throttle not recognized. Sticking. And... Yeah, so they do have three videos. Well, it looks like actually they may have more. <clears throat> so it looks like four. Well, four videos, but one of them is about the brake pedal. So it looks like it might be three. No, wait, there's five. It looks like five videos. It looks like three or four of them might be about the pedal fix or the issue so I would yeah I would just go check out YouTube and see if you're able to uh, do something with it from there yeah it's the best best I could give you brother I know it stinks I feel for you cuz you know like you're doing your thing and all of a sudden just nothing right that sucks I wish I had better news like I said, you know, if it's something, that's why anytime, moving forward, anytime you buy an electronic, make sure you hold on to that receipt and make sure you document the amount of time because, uh, yeah, I mean, it, they just, that's just the way it is. If that stuff goes down, you want to be able to, um, you want to be able to replace it, get it exchanged, you know, whatever it might be. Oh, 
Well, I'm getting a little frustrated. So salmon, yeah, look at that. There are no roads that go anywhere near there. Wow. That is something. So what about Ontario? Um, could go to Ontario, right? Or not, maybe. Oh, wait. All of a sudden. Wait a second. Did they have Ketchum before? Kennewick. Yeah, there's Ontario. Ogden. Olympia. All right. Lewiston, yeah. Uh, just afraid if I go there, I'm just wasting more time. Like, I just don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. Should I head up north? Should I go to, back to Coeur d'Alene? Uh, this is frustrating. See, if I could fast travel, I wouldn't mind so much. See, I can't fast travel there. Or do we try going back to Lewiston? Time to hit the road.
At this point, I don't care about the delivery. Get ready to turn. Yeah, I just want to find a delivery for that location. Turn right. What's up, bud? What? What happened? Oh, okay. Give me a second real quick, guys. My son wants to show me something. No problem, banana. Sounds good, brother. Let's see, what are we doing here? That's right, we gotta make our right turn. And we're gonna hope that we get something. this here? This says, this is Grangeville, right? What do we have here?
brother. Oh well. So yeah, Aldred, I hope um I hope maybe if you check out that YouTube video, I mean other than that, like I said, without the receipt or, you know, there being um a uh warranty that comes into play. Yeah, that's that's the tough thing with electronics. <clears throat> Might be something very simple. But I use a controller, so I don't, you know, I've never dealt with that stuff firsthand. So I don't know, you know, what you could or couldn't do other than, you know, the things that I suggested. So, we don't have a delivery. We're driving to Lewiston. I'm hoping that when I get there, they'll have a delivery going to the next, either one of the next three towns that I have to go to. I've gone to two towns and neither one of those has any deliveries going to the two cities or three cities that I need. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. Yeah, I wish that I could um, just sort it by delivery location and it would just tell me where to go. Like even if, we, uh, even if there was a pickup, you know, in another state, I'll go, I don't care, just I need to know where to go, you know. straight on it's just kind of annoying because you know I need to get to
It's taking me longer just to get to these other three towns than it did the first eight. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. All right, let's see what we got now. Uh, job market, external. Pocatello, Salmon, <laughs> Twin Falls, Twin, Pocatello, mm -hmm. Boise, Grangeville, <sighs> Boise, Grangeville, Lewiston. Oy, oy, oy. Can't win. I can't win. Well, I guess what I'll do is I will call it a stream here for this. And we will be back with something else. I guess I'll just take a little lunch break. And we'll be back. And, um... I'll either find where to go and we'll just, you know, pick up where we left off or we might go into another game. All right. You guys have a great one. Thank you very much. This is Crew and I'm out.